With persistent drought conditions in the U.S., especially in the western half of the country, we all need to find ways to reduce our water consumption. Many people will actually be required to do this to comply with local water restrictions. According to the EPA, nationwide, landscape irrigation accounts for nearly one-third of all residential water use, totaling nearly 9 billion gallons per day. In this video, we will touch on several opportunities to help you reduce your landscape water usage. The first thing you can do is to perform a simple inspection of your irrigation system. Leaks, broken heads, clogged nozzles, arc adjustment, and overspray are just a few of the things that are easily checked. Inefficient irrigation systems will need to run longer, which wastes water. A water audit will also help to determine the efficiency of your irrigation system. Next, review your controller programming. Adjust the programming seasonally, at a minimum, to apply the ideal amount of water required to maintain a healthy landscape. If possible, schedule your irrigation to run in the early morning or evening. Wind affecting sprinkler performance and water loss due to evaporation will be less when watering during these times of day. Also check your irrigation system for runoff. Runoff occurs when sprinklers run too long, especially where high precipitation rates, slopes, and clay soils exist. If water is running off into the street, the irrigation run times are probably too long. Switch to rotary nozzles, which have lower precipitation rates than sprays, or use cycle and soak programming where irrigation run times are divided into shorter cycles with soak times in between. Smart irrigation controllers are another great water savings tool. Most include internet connectivity, allowing them to access local weather data, which is used to automatically adjust irrigation run times. If irrigating smaller turf areas, convert traditional spray head nozzles to high efficiency nozzles. Rotary nozzles like the Toro Precision Rotary, Hunter MP Rotator, or Rainbird R-Van have larger water droplets and lower precipitation rates. Typically, high efficiency nozzles are almost twice as efficient as standard spray head nozzles. Another opportunity to reduce water use is to check for high pressure. If the dynamic pressure exceeds the ideal operating pressure for the nozzles being used, it will cause misting and fogging, leading to inefficient watering. High pressure can be addressed at the backflow preventer irrigation valve, and even with the sprinkler heads. In some states, pressure-regulated spray head bodies are now required. Other states are already scheduled to follow. Pressure-regulated spray head bodies regulate to the ideal operating pressure for the nozzle. This eliminates the misting and fogging associated with high pressure, saving as much as one gallon per minute per sprinkler head. You can also improve water efficiency by converting landscape beds and planters irrigated with spray heads to low volume irrigation. The retro drip adapter from Landscape Products helps to simplify the transition. The adapter replaces a spray head in the landscape, providing a connection for drip tubing or inline emitter tubing. Caps are used to cap off any remaining spray heads in the area. Another option to consider for reducing landscape water use is converting turf areas to synthetic turf or xeriscaping the areas using mulch, hardscape, and drought-tolerant native plants that require much less water. Finally, check with your local water provider to see about rebate opportunities for increasing the efficiency of your irrigation system. For more information on irrigation products that can help reduce water use, stop into your local Ewing branch. To find a location near you, visit us online at ewingirrigation.com.